Well, this is Dr. Kyle Roberts. I wanted to welcome you all back uh, to the series that we're doing uh, through Resultant, talking about uh, how to use some tools inside of Alteric. So uh, this is going to be part of a bigger series that we're doing on how to create analytic apps. And so the first one I want to talk about today is how to use uh, some of these analytic apps up here, and specifically the numeric up down uh, when you're creating an app. So I've created a really simple data set here. So we've got uh, we've got some colors, we've got some dates, and then we've got some scores in here. And so what I want to do is I want to create a filter or put a filter on my data set that will actually filter out uh, based on that score. And so let's say the score is, uh, let's make it uh, greater than three. And then if we, um, you know, if we add our brows uh, in after there, so we'll add to the true and then we go ahead and hit run. Uh, we'll see that that is now filtered. Now, what I want to do is I want to run an analytic app that actually controls this filter. And so in order to do that, I'm going to run up to my interface tool and I'm going to pull down the numeric up down. And so I'm going to pull it in. I'm not going to pull it down so it connects here because it's actually going to connect to the wrong space. So I'm going to pull it into my canvas where it connects too high. And then I'm going to grab from that hourglass and then pull it down into the, the uh, lightning bolt there. Now, before I did that, I want you to see something that just happened when we drug that uh, that tool down onto our canvas, is that this little magic wand appeared here. And that that has now converted my workflow into an analytic app. Um, and we'll kind of show how this works here in just a second. So I'm going to drag down to there, to that lightning bolt. And what I first want to do is note that this action tool is now populated in there. And so we'll fix that action tool in here in just a minute. But let's look at the tool itself. Um, what I want to do in this area that says numeric up down is change this to, um, uh, to something that kind of gives a prompt to the user. So I'm going to put score um, is uh, greater than. And that will be the prompt that we'll give to our user. Now, we also want to set up some of these default values. And so right here, we have the minimum value and we have a maximum value. I'm going to put the maximum value as seven um, because remember the scores we have are only one through six. Like if I click on that, we see the scores there, one through six. Okay, so we have uh, zeros minimum, maximum seven, increments one. And then the default, I want to change that because right now the default is outside of our range. So why don't we put the default as three? Um, and so that's what the user will see. Um, and it can't be default. And we even got that error. It says default can't be greater than maximum of seven. Okay. So it looks like that tool is ready to go. Now this tool, the update action tool, we need to fix that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is the good part is the default here is update value. And we need to expand that simple part there and the operands. And what we're going to do is you see the filter right now is set up to score is greater than three. And so what we want to do is we want to update that string there or that value, that operand value of three. And so now go ahead and click on a checkbox here to replace a specific string. Uh, but what we want the tool to do is to update that three that's in there. Okay. Now I'm going to run this incorrectly. And I want to just, because I want you to see how this all looks. And then we'll show, talk about how to fix the problem that I haven't fixed yet. So I'm going to add or click on that run as an analytic app. And you see my question here. And it says score is three. So maybe I'll turn it down to one score is greater than one. And then I run finish and you see, oh, there's no output files, meaning that we're not seeing anything. Okay, so I can go ahead and hit okay. Let me exit this. How we fix that is by going up to view and interface designer, click on this, uh, this cog wheel. And then do you see that this, and we have checked on on success, show results to the user. We need to check that browse. And so that browse now, when we when we run um, uh, this, uh, this analytic app, that browse will show at the end, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I'll close out the interface designer. And now let's try again. We'll run as analytic app. I'll put scores greater than four. I run finish and there's the output. And if I want to, now I can save it. Okay, so that was kind of a really quick tutorial on how to use the numeric up down tool in creating apps. We're going to continue to build on this and do some more things. Uh, and so, but for right now, it's again, Dr. Kyle Roberts with Resultant. I encourage you to look at our YouTube channel and also on our website at resultant.com uh, to see more things that we're doing both with Alteryx and Tableau on some training sessions. So, but for now, thanks for joining us and uh, look for more tips and uh, uh, tips and tricks on Alteryx coming soon.